Do you have these six must-have free iOS apps installed on your controller display? If not, maybe you should give them a try. They're super easy to install and use, and you won't be sorry that you did. So let's take a look at which ones they are. Welcome back everyone, it's Joe from Ghost1917. Whether you're a new drone pilot or a seasoned veteran, these apps will be super helpful. I'm gonna do a brief overview of each app without going into too much detail. If you have any questions about an individual app or you would like me to do a more in-depth video for that app, just let me know in the comment section below. All of the reviewed apps are available to download in the App Store US. I'm not sure about the other 174 countries that have app stores, so please let others know in the comment section below if any of the listed apps are not available in your country. I use all of these apps pretty much every time I fly, with the exception of Aloft, which I only use when I need airspace authorization. Some of the apps have overlapping functions, but each one has a unique function, which is why I use all six. The first app on the list is UAV Forecast. This is by far my most used app. The only time I don't use it is when I'm flying a low altitude and staying within a few feet of my home point. The home screen gives you a quick snapshot of whether it's a good day to fly or if you should just stay home and watch my YouTube channel. It's a pretty straightforward interface made up of individual boxes. Each of the boxes allows the user to set limits for the different parameters. Simply click in a box and set your limits. So, if you know the max wind speed for safe operation of your drone is 25 miles per hour, you simply enter that as your limit and the box won't go green until the wind speed is at or below your limit. And when all the boxes are green, you're good to go. The free version provides current conditions plus one day. It also provides fly zones showing airports, heliports, etc. at the bottom of the home page and a more detailed version of that on the map page. The second app is Alpenglow. Who doesn't want great shots of that perfect sunrise or sunset? This app not only lets you know what time the sunrise, sunset, golden hour and blue hours are, but also what the quality of the sunrise and sunset is predicted to be. I found the app's predictions to be fairly accurate for my area. In the map view, you get three different colored lines, which show the direction of sunrise, the rust colored line, sunset, the red colored line, and the current sun position, which is shown by the brown line. The third app is Aloft. This app is for those flying in the US. I know the Australian version of this is Open Sky, but not sure about other countries. So what I suggest is simply go to your government's aviation website and check out what app they suggest for these purposes. If you ever need FAA clearance, this is the go-to app. It's formerly known as Kitty Hawk. It provides you a summary of weather conditions potentially affecting your flight and provides a summary of the current air traffic. But most importantly, it allows you to obtain airspace authorization directly through the app in minutes, sometimes even seconds, depending on the area you're in. The fourth app is the Before You Fly app. That's the letter B, the number four, and fly. This app simply gives you a clear for takeoff, checking for advisories and local air traffic patterns. It's the companion app to the Aloft app. The fifth app, and another app that I use quite frequently, is the Windy app. This app provides you with a detailed live wind forecast. The interactive live map updates you as you scroll through the time and date, which is key when you're flying, as wind direction can change affecting your safe return to home. The animated arrows show the wind direction and the background color shows the wind intensity or speed. It provides a five day wind forecast. The last app is the Air Data app. This app provides you with post-flight data analysis. It gives you more detailed information than the DJI Fly app. I show how I use this app in an earlier video I made of a crash I had with the Air 2S. If you missed that one and want to check it out, I'll put a link below. All of these apps are free. Some have paid versions which offer more functions, but for the most part, everything you need is available to you in the free versions. As always, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments section below what your thoughts are on these apps and any apps you might be using that I haven't mentioned. And while you're down there, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on future videos. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.